uh, we're still waiting for, uh, you know, that's actually the premier boxing champions theme. You know, they don't even use it anymore. And they paid uh, this big time music composer to make that track, even though that one right there is fan made. But anyway, um, it's official for Keith Thurman's vacated. He was about to be stripped, vacated WBC 147 pound title. Danny Garcia versus uh, Sean Porter, September the 8th is going to be in New York on Showtime in the Barclays Center. I'm going to put the uh, ticket info down um, in the uh, description box. Um, T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. And now, of course, we got to talk about, you know, when Keith Thurman is ever going to return. There's still rumors of him signing with Eddie Hearn. Still rumors. Um, Garcia last fight was against Brandon Rios. He has a, um, like a system where he'll take a hard fight then an easy fight you know for example like he's fighting sean porter for brandon rios and for keith thurman samuel vargas robert guerrero was still considered a big fight at that time paulie malinaji then lamont peterson rod soka then mauricio herrera now when he had fought matisse remember at this point in time he was considered like a hero nobody thought he was going to beat matisse so he had a lot of good momentum. Went to Puerto Rico. The it's I'm coming home. I'm coming home. That fucking song is still in my head. Fort Mauricio uh, Herrera down in Puerto Rico. Got a gift decision. It is true. Yes, I'm from Philly. And yes, I'm, you know, saying that Danny Garcia got a gift decision against Mauricio Herrera. Got more shit because he fought Rod Salka. You know, and then this was cherries everywhere. Cherries all over the place. Fort Lamont, Fort Lamont Peterson on free TV, PBC, Paulie Malinaji, and, you know, go back up the list. Now, when it comes to Sean Porter, he's been chasing Keith Thurman for the longest. And the WBC was even kind of dicking him over at a little at, 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 at a point in time. But nonetheless, he said he wanted either uh, Keith Thurman or Danny Garcia. He got Danny Garcia and he's getting the fight for that uh, WBC title. Adrian Granados was his last fight before that. Um, Andre Berto. You know, Keith Thurman, Adrian Broner, uh, Eric Bonet, PBC on Spike, Carol Brooke, Paulie Malinaji, Devin Alexander, Julio Diaz. Remember Phil, um, Phil Greco fought um, Amir Khan, got knocked out recently. And the two fights with Julio Diaz, one, one of these was Showbox, right? But nonetheless, he's become such a uh, much better fighter in regard to not necessarily skill, but he's feared. A lot of fighters don't want to fight him because of his style. Because you fight Sean Porter, you're in for a rough night. Some say headbutts. They say uh, aggression. I don't think he's intentionally going out there to headbutt people. I just think that with his fighting style and how aggressive he is, that should just be happening. Danny Garcia hasn't fought somebody that's going to be all over him. Like Garcia, I mean, like, um, like Porter's going to be all over him. However, in the case of Danny Garcia and Keith Thurman, I feel, in my opinion... That Danny Garcia, even though, you know, he's fought at 140 and he's at 147. Now, I feel that he's a harder puncher than Keith Thurman, in my opinion. You know, now, knockouts don't always mean anything. Because if you notice during Danny Garcia fights, nobody wants to sit there and trade with him. What kind of fight is Lamont Peterson, I mean, um, um, Sean Porter going to fight? Because remember, Lamont Peterson decided not to be the pressure fighter and decided to move around the ring. You know, decided to dance around. So I'm wondering in regards to, you know, Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, is he going to try to box more? Because in this case, I would think his, his best bet would be to try to swarm Danny Garcia, right? But Danny Garcia's got that power. I, never, I can't remember seeing a situation with Danny Garcia getting forced to the ropes or in a corner and just getting pummeled. I, can't, I, I, I couldn't see it, you know? So... I'm, I'm thinking that if Sean Porter's smart, you know, they're going to tighten up on defense more because Danny Garcia's power is not to be questioned. And he will body beat you, you know? Another thing is what the buildup going to be like, you know, like is Angel Garcia going to go off the handles again? You know, how is him and uh, Kenny Porter's, um, you know, interactions going to be? Also, the winner, will they fight Terrence Crawford? Win? Likely not. You know, Terrence Crawford's probably going to, Return in November, December, you know, I'm thinking maybe a Jose Benavidez or something, you know, or what about Errol Spence? Now, I really do believe that Danny Garcia would fight Errol Spence if the money was right. 
Sean Porter, yes, too. But understand that Kenny Porter, the father trainer of Sean Porter and Errol Spence are very tight. Hell, um, Kenny Porter was actually over there with Errol Spence when he fought um, Kel Brook. So it's one of those fights. That I'm not saying that they wouldn't fight. I'm thinking that it's one of those fights kind of like Peter Quillen and um, Danny Jacobs that if the money's like really, really right and they both got uh, belts, they'll fight. But I think that w at one point in time in the next year, one of these guys are going to fight um, Errol Spence because right now we can't talk about Keith Thurman because we don't know what he's doing. And also pay attention to the fact that Manny Pacquiao is back. And for any 147 pound fighter right now, the biggest money you can get is against Manny Pacquiao. So you can't tell me that Al Heyman won't be trying to, you know, pursue Manny Pacquiao for one of his guys to get them on the pay-per-view to get them on an even bigger platform. You see what I'm saying? You know, so, you know, right now we're going to see. I, I, I do expect for this to be a really, really good fight. I'm trying to think like I can't picture any of these guys getting knocked out of stop. Can you imagine? You know, so this is one of the best fights of the year. And I'm glad that it's coming a week before we got um, we got Garcia versus Porter. Canelo Golovkin the next week, then the week after that, Joshua versus Povetkin. That's a heavy ass lineup right there. Also, Amir Khan is fighting earlier in this day. So don't expect for Amir Khan. You know, you'll probably hear Amir Khan say, of course, I would like to fight Danny Garcia in a rematch. He's been talking that shit for years now. I'm going with Danny Garcia, not because I'm from Philly. I think that he'll be able to put in the cleaner work. But however, his punch output is going to have to go up. So if Sean Porter were to win, you know, then it's going to be because of punch activity, you know, and just, you know, ring generalship bullying Danny Garcia around the ring, which I don't think Danny Garcia is going to allow him to do. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.